Meet Stephen McAleer. He came all the way from Scotland to attempt to climb up the Mazda Speed driver development ladder. But after dominating the first half of the Playboy MX-5 Cup season, the number 28 driver finds himself within 28 points of his two closest competitors. The veteran Aaron Malkasian started a comeback this season with a dramatic late race win at Road America. And John Dean has knocked off a string of podium finishes and he carries momentum into the next round of the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup. We're in Virginia next on the Mazda Motorsports Hour. Welcome to Virginia International Raceway. Coverage today of the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup here on the Mazda Motorsports Hour. Hello again, everyone. I'm Rick Benjamin. Champion road racer Randy Popes will join me for the call in just a moment. And we're welcoming back Derek Pernasiglio this weekend. He'll have our coverage on pit road and in the paddock. Just a handful of races remain in the 2012 season to settle the championship. And with it, the opportunity to see which driver will get a chance to take another step up the Mazda Speed driver development ladder. Three drivers have that opportunity. It's going to be a heck of a title fight. Let's head downstairs to Derek and find out what those contenders are thinking. Guys, it's a championship battle of the rookies versus the veterans. Stephen McAleer leads the points over John Dean and veteran Ara Malkashian. The maximum points you can earn is 30 in a race. And with 28 separating the top three, the championship is going to come down to the final event. I mean, John is on a, a pretty decent charge right now. We were strong at the start of the season. Now he's strong at the end of the season. Uh, four races to go. We've obviously worked out the points, what he can get, what we can get with pole positions and stuff. At this point in the championship, uh, you know, there's a lot going through your head. You know, even even in the car while you're while you're driving. You know, you're you are doing the math, uh, calculating. Okay, do I how badly do I need this pass? I think we need to do what we're doing, which is to stay up front and stay in a hunt, and uh, you know, wait for uh, wait for the others to kind of fall out and uh, do what I always like to do, which is try to win the races late in the race. So at this point in the year, it's it's very exciting. The uh, you know the nerves are at their highest, and uh, everybody's trying to drive as hard as they can, but also not make mistakes. Obviously, to still fight for it, don't don't give anything up easily, and uh, hopefully go to Road Atlanta with a kind of similar lead to what we have now. So Stephen McAleer, Randy Popes has a nice cushion, not quite to 30 points over our Malkasian. John Dean tucked in there, 26 back. Still a lot of racing in this season. And these points have been affected tremendously by the driving penalties we've seen in races earlier in the year. Absolutely. Feel lining up, getting set to roll down the hill here at VIR and come to the grid, get set to start this race after Virginia International Raceway, a tight turnaround San Diego next week, and then Road Atlanta. Here's the six sideways 16 of John Dean. Did not qualify particularly well. Next to him, our pole sitter's car, young Nathaniel Sparks. He's joined the six sideways team, and it's interesting, as a new guy, he's on the pole. Getting some help from Six Sideways. In fact, went down to Florida to move that car into that race shop. Derek caught up with our pole sitter earlier. Rick, Nathaniel Sparks takes the pole today by over a second over his fastest competitor. It comes on the heels of joining the Six Sideways team. And Nathan, have you guys found something that no one else has found? Well, I don't know. I just I feel like we really nailed the setup over uh, over just our testing and our experience with uh, the, the chassis and everything over the year. It's just really been helping out. You took the pole with a commanding time, really a dominating time today, or yesterday. Uh, can you keep that up for the main event today? Oh, I, I believe the entire pace of the race will be extremely fast, and hopefully I'll be able to lead some of it and, you know, keep the race exciting. Guys, Nathaniel Sparks starts on the pole today. This is a long racetrack, three and a quarter miles here in a tough, challenging place as well. But when you out-qualify the field by a second, that's pretty strong. That's huge. VIR has a combination of the slow corners, like from one to six, Fast corners like the climbing S's and a long straightaway. You've got to do it all at VIR. And Nathaniel Sparks, it's amazing performance to put a second on the field. If you've never been here and seen this place, one thing you'll notice today as we bring you our coverage here on the Mazda Motorsports Hour, huge elevation changes at VIR. And it's early in the morning. Could be a little of that misty wetness. You can see the tracks and the grass there. If anybody goes off, they're going to stay off. I'll tell you that. Nathaniel Sparks has been on his game this weekend. He's your pole qualifier, McAleer alongside. One of the other championship contenders, Malkasian, starts third. Christian Shimshak, the other six sideways teammate, starts fourth. Elliott Skier lines up in fifth. He's our Mazda Speed driver development ladder scholarship star. And John Dean, who's had a great season for six sideways. Dean Copeland qualifying in row four. Back with us and Chris Windsor in the 
38 car. First time we've seen him this year. Sebastian Landy making his third start of the season. And Nick Igdalski will line up 10th. That is the Mod Space car from the C.J. Wilson Stables. Brent Mosing in row six with Beth Christ from nearby Herndon, Virginia in her red two car. Let me take you back one more row. Seventh row, Thomas Neal in the 15. Emily Tomenovich in the true car 19 car. She will line up in the uh, 14th starting position. Charles Packlin, who is also part of the C.J. Wilson team. Christian Tetzlaff in the 23. They'll be in the eighth row here today. Forrest Landy and the veteran Tim Probert make up row number nine. Probert in one of the Alara cars from Aramalcasian Stable. Our three Skip Barber Mazda Speed Pro Challenge entries. Brian Hickson in the 63. David Knight in the 97. Greg Holloway in the 69. And they will tag the field today here at Virginia International Raceway. Randy Popes, this is going to be a challenging event. As you mentioned, maybe some dew, some moisture. You don't want to go off and get into that wet grass here today. Yeah, it's early, and Nathaniel Sparks sitting on pole. Let's see if he can take the pressure of starting first. Getting ready to go. How about our Mazda keys to the race? Well, first thing at VIR is can you do the climbing us is flat out. Very challenging maneuver, one of my favorites in racing. And the ABS brakes are a real important factor here, especially at the end of the straightaway, because that brake zone is not straight, and it really helps. That straight's important for the draft also, and maybe that's how Nathaniel put all that time on the field. And you got to learn that traction compound. It's different every time you come back to VIR. So they put that in the corners, and then, of course, hog pen corner. You've got to pay a special attention there, right? Hog pen corner leads onto the front straightaway. It's kind of fast. You drop into it, and it's a very important part of the lap time. All right, before we go green, problems for Dean Copeland out of suburban Washington, D.C., Bowie, Maryland, on pit road with the hood up. Oh, Never no. Never how you like to start one of these. Oh, I can't believe the season that Dean's had. I hope they can get that Mazda MX-5 going for him. Of course, at Road America, so close to victory. Aramalcasian prevailing, the two, the seven, and Era's car, they banged fenders coming to the line. Era prevails. Both cars heavily damaged. Good to see Dean back with us, but uh, problems apparently. There is the Stephen McAleer car, the 28 from C.J. Wilson's team. Your starting lights getting ready to go green oh, the on the front straight away. Away we go, dropping the clutch, little wheel spin. Look at that, start from McAleer. McAleer on the outside, Sparks on the inside, Malkasian. John Dean and Christian Shimshack all doing battle here as we head to turn one. Shimshack might have had the best start of all. He's come up strong from the outside. Sparks is back into third so far, down into one. This right-hand horseshoe, 180 degrees or more, you've got to make great time through here and set yourself up for the S's. Nobody off yet. I give him credit for that because you don't know where to break on the start. You're starting halfway down the straight. It's a different deal. Heading back for turn three and turn four now. That looks like McAleer in the lead. McAleer is out in front of the 28 car, opening up a couple of car lengths here on Christian Shimshack in the 34. Remember that Shimshack's battling those cracked ribs that he suffered up at Canadian Tire Motorsports Park back in the month of July. Everybody single file. Let's get an update on Dean Copeland. Here's Derek. And Rick, just talk with Kevin Copeland, who is the father of Dean Copeland. They don't know what's going on underneath the hood of that race car. They say after the car was teched yesterday and they hooked the machines up to it, it hasn't run the same. So Copeland took his car back to the pit area. His father is on his way back there to meet him. But right now, it's a lot of frustration in the Copeland pit. Oh, my gosh. What a shame yeah. to have to pull off a pit lane like that. Uh, if he can get it back out there, he'll be starting out a couple laps down for sure. And as we come out of Oak Tree Corner, onto the long, long back straightaway. John Dean riding with him in the six sideways 16 car. Our replay XD onboard cameras doing a great job as they always do. This is where you see one of the big elevation changes, a big drop here when you crest this hill. Oh yeah, it goes up for a while and then it goes down and that really helps your top speed at the end. And this is where we're talking about that ABS. See how that kinks? That's all a brake zone. Kink to the left and then back to the right. Hard, hard break, and the MX-5s looks like Mount Cassian got a little kiss on the back there from maybe Mr. Skier. Yeah, this series certainly known for a lot of drivers who are more than willing to trade some paint with you. As your leader is Shimshack, second is McAleer, third is the pole sitter Sparks, fourth is Malkasian. And we're coming out of hog pen corner. This is <laughs> oh, what trouble. leads on the straight. Oh, somebody's in that wet grass. Looks like Tim Probert missed a corner there and goes down through the grass. Doesn't hit anything. Everything is okay, and we continue to fly down the front straightaway at VIR. Three wide into two. And that looks like Christian Shimshack into the lead. 
Nice job. He's looking strong. Sparks still trying to get back his position he lost on the start. And Nate Sparks in the gray three car sitting in third position there behind McAleer. Aramalkasian moving to fourth spot now as their single file. That's Elliott Skier running fifth. John Dean is back there in sixth. John Dean had a disappointing effort in qualifying, and I'm surprised to see McAleer not just walk away from this field. He looks so good on lap one. Well, this is one of those racetracks, Randy, where I think it's really easy that your momentum can get upset here, and I think you could lose a lot of pace if you're not careful. Yeah, you can, but the draft on the back straight helps keep cars together. Now we're heading for the climbing S's. I want to listen for if they lift. Into the middle. Yeah, might have been a little bit of lift. They're right on the edge. Replay XD on board view from Nathaniel Sparks' car. He's our pole sitter. A little left-hand twist here before you head up the hill again to where the oak tree is. It looks to me like Sparks might be the quickest car in the field at the moment. He's just glued up under the bumper of Stephen McAleer. Well, in these cars, as we've seen all season long, you've got five or six guys extremely competitive at the sharp end of the grid, and a lot of position swapping goes on typically from green to checker. Yeah, look at that train. We got eight cars there, just nose to tail. I mean, we have seen tons and tons of passing this year, which speaks to not just how equal these cars are, but the great quality and durability and reliability of these Mazda MZR engines and, of course, the MX-5 Cup cars. On board Malkasian, we play XD on board views. They're two by two heading to the left hand. Sparks down the inside but when you're on the left in that corner you're on the outside of the right hander he's still fighting for it Nathaniel Sparks wedging his way by Stephen McAleer to take over second all of this allowing Shimshack to build a little bit of a lead Malkasian pulls his way back a spot oh yeah McAleer got in trouble in the roller coaster and Malkasian right by him this is great stuff on board here the replay XD on board views Stephen McAleer's machine onto the front straightaway early in the day here at VIR. Drafting down the front side of the racetrack, McAleer and his teammate of the 17 skier. We'll see if anybody can sweep by him. Boy, I'll tell you, McAleer is dropping like a stone. Yeah. Something might not be right in his car. Shimshack still out in front. Sparks is second. Malkasian is third. A good four way scramble for fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. John Dean trying to move up. Great battling here early in the day at Virginia International Raceway, the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup. More to come on the Mazda Motorsports Hour. Welcome back to Virginia International Raceway alongside Randy Popes, I'm Rick Benjamin, Derek Bernasiglio with our coverage today on Pit Road. This three-way battle for the lead, Randy, unbelievable. Shimshack still on top with Sparks right behind him. Now Elliott Skier trying to grab second. A nice pass. It's hard to get it in there, and he made it work. Replay XD on board. Look here from Nathaniel Sparks' seat. How frustrating is it for the 22-year-old to be the fast qualifier by a ton? Not only is he not leading, now he's back to third. It looks to me like Sparks must have had a heck of a good draft on that qualifying effort. I'd love to see his in-car. <laughs> and now he's trying to get a draft off of Skier, maybe push him right past Shimshack into the lead. Elliott Skier on the outside, trying to sweep around the 34 of Shimshack, the this six is, sideways machine. This is pure ABS, Rick. Hard on the brakes down into the roller coaster. So with the ABS on in these cars, you can squeeze the brakes hard. You're not going to have that car get away from you. It allows a driver to brake late in a corner while cornering. You don't have to be dead straight. Big help. On board again, Shimshack. You get a look at his eyes and his hands, of course. That's one of our Replay XD onboard views here. Going for another gear on the front side of the racetrack. Yeah, he's up into fifth. That front straightaway, even though it doesn't look as long, is almost as fast as the long, long back straightaway. Heading toward turn two again. Again, that three-way scramble. Shimshack, your leader. But Skier on the bottom trying to take the lead, and he does. Oh, yeah. That's a nice move down the inside for Skier. But is he going to hold it? Shimshack's trying him around the inside of one, which is the outside of what we call NASCAR corner right in front of the food stand here at VIR. <laughs> now, of course, when you do that, you open the door for an outside-in move by the car you've just passed. Yep, but he made it stick. Sparks is still just watching that action. He hasn't led a lap yet after a sterling qualifying effort. Elliott Skier using the curb to good advantage there to keep the lead. Shimshack in second spot. Sparks now is third. And John Dean, Shimshack's teammate, has moved up to fourth. So you've got the three six sideways cars, second, third, and fourth here at VIR. It's a typical MX-5 race, neck and neck. Now, Christian Shimshack, we talked about the cracked ribs he suffered, had to borrow a car from Alara, from Aram Alcation's team up at uh, Canadian Tire Motorsports Park. He had a problem here yesterday as well. Oh, man, that could, couldn't have helped those ribs. No, not at all. 
uh, wrinkled up some of the sheet metal on the 34 car. They were able to patch it up, buff it out just a little bit, get him ready to go racing here today. Christian feeling okay when he's running up front. That's when the crew really matters. You saw those guys up there doing their best, and it looks like they did a great job from the six sideways team. Getting Shimshack back in the lead again, back by Skier on the straightaway. Using that draft. Now, in these cars, they punch a pretty small hole in the air, but can you just swoop around a guy? Does Is it the air that helps you make that move? Well, you got to be coming off turn eight really well. The, the oak tree corner really well. And that's what we saw from John Dean at most part. In fact, that's part of how he won that race. Looks like maybe they've got the same kind of at setup advantage, at least in Shimshack's car. John Dean still struggling a little further back in the pack. For him, this is not good. Replay XD on board look over Dean's shoulder, sitting in fourth spot right now behind the 17 of young Elliott Skier back onto the front straightaway here at Virginia International Raceway. Shimshack out in front of the 34 car. Sparks your pole sitter. Now a teammate at six sideways. That is the three car. And one of the C.J. Wilson entries, Elliott Skier ducks low to try to get the lead back. He's inside Sparks. He's going for Shimshack. They're side by side. Whoa. Oh, Christian, real conservative there, just letting him in. I don't think he wants to wreck that car again, Rick. John Dean right there as well. The other white six sideways machine, that's the 16 car, as Skier goes back to the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, John Dean working his way back up. He's going to get in it again. He's going to get in it again. We're used to seeing him in the lead, not back in seventh. Great action here at Virginia International Raceway, which is always the case with the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup. Let's get a replay XD on board. Look back from John Dean's entry. Yeah, you get a real good idea of just how well he's doing the corners, and you can see whether or not Stephen McAleer can catch him. And it's pretty, pretty darn even there. Heading yeah. up the backstretch out of the S's, heading up toward Oak Tree here. Top five just about the same, but there's been a lot of shuffling of position. Fourth right now is Dean. Fifth is McAleer, the championship leader. This is a great series for racing. The drivers should come here to work on their draft. They're maintaining momentum. And the whole concept of keeping yourself fast and getting away from the cars behind you by not racing too much. Right now, Elliot Skier has got a nice lead. Let's see if Sparks just pushes him down the straightaway or if he tries to pass him again. Heading downhill at Virginia International Raceway. A couple of people putting a wheel onto the grass. Nobody off so far. Everybody really minding their P's and Q's here today. So far, so good. And with an MX-5, you want to straighten that corner out as much as possible. That's why you see these moves. Looks like Nathan Sparks is not waiting. He's gone for the lead. Sparks, your pulse center there. Wide. Three wide. Here comes the 34 of Shimshack. <laughs> Look Here out. goes side by side. Dean pokes the nose of the 16 into the mix. Into that windy, curving, double turn breaking zone. That's tough. It's hard to say. It's hard to do. Couple of left-handers here. Shimshack is still out in front. Right behind him is Skier. The pole sitter sparks in third. Then Dean and McAleer. The cream has risen to the top at VIR. Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup cars and stars in action at Virginia International Raceway. We're in Alton, Virginia, on the border with North Carolina. Big action on the front straightaway here. These two long straightaways are keeping it close. You see the draft working for Skier right up on side, Shimshack, and again, trying him on the brakes down into one. Elliott Skier makes a move to take the lead back. Shimshack on the outside will try to repass down low. Running order top of your screen with seven laps on the board. Coming right back at him is Shimshack. They're side by side side for the lead. Yeah, and here comes John Dean. Whoa. He's starting to look like the guy we know and love who's won several of the last couple races. John Dean has been to victory lane numerous times. Right now, Elliot Skier gunning for his first win in a while. Youngster out of the Mazda Speed driver development ladder here. Top three starting to separate themselves a little. Fourth spot belongs to Sparks, then it's Mulcasia. One minute he's leading, next minute he's fourth. Yeah. That's those long straights at VIR. Now Sparks has got his hands full with Aaron Mulcasian. If you think that passing is difficult in these cars, you're right, because there is no horsepower advantage, but Aaron Mulcasian able to get some momentum going and drive around Sparks. Brave move into the S's on the inside like that, but the MX-5s have got the stability to do that. You can just pound them over the curb. They can soak up a bump without getting kicked out of shape. Skier back to the lead. Shimshack is second. His teammate Dean is third. Fourth is Malkasian. Your replay XD onboard view down the backstretch. BIR has got some new curbing. We just saw it on the exit of Oak Tree there. They've got it in the S's. And it means the MX-5s, I know that they're able to use all that curbing. Look at Malkasian. Get that run out of eight. 
pulling right up by six sideways number one. Side by side Head for the lead up front. Two. Meantime, yeah, Shishak has gotten out in front, but here comes Era. Holy Man. mackerel. That's what we call the three-car draft. You tow one, get by him while you're in the draft to the next one. Mount Cassian had three or four miles an hour on the other MX-5s there. John Dean sneaking back into third spot. Your leader is Shimshak, second to Smalkasian. Dean is third over Skier in fourth. Fifth spot is Nathaniel Sparks, down to Dara. Strong showing so far for Ara Malkashian. He runs third in the points right now. He's got one win so far this year, seven top tens, two top fives, and he's already got two podiums. And he is going for it on the outside. Aramal Kajan trying to get the lead back, and he's got it as they head down the front straightaway. Let's see if Shim Shimshak can take him back in the brake zone. He's trying it. He's got a fender. He doesn't have a door. <laughs> I don't know yet. Era able to maintain grip on the outside and hold on to the lead, and that positions him perfectly for the next couple of quarters. That's nice. If he'd gotten a little further up, you got to get in the peripheral vision of the guy ahead of you, and he didn't quite make it. Nate Sparks working on the 17 again, three wide. Oh, yeah, down the inside. Is that McAleer that is trying McAleer. to get back in this race? Stephen McAleer, the points leader of the 28 car races out of Putnam Valley in New York, a Scotsman originally. Malkasian up front trying to win his second race of the season and move closer to claiming the championship. Yeah, well, McAleer gave a good shot, but he didn't get by Sparks. Malkasian now in the lead. It's going to be interesting to see how they run up through these climbing S's. Are they flat? Look at the new curbing, the black yeah. and yellow stuff. They're not using it, so they don't want to go that don't, they don't want to go that crazy. Malkasian out in front. Second spot, Shimshak in the 34, Dean in the 16. The two six sideways mates are second and third. Malkasian actually pulled a, co a car length or two in the climbing S's. Yeah. Now this is oak tree. Why do you think they call it that? I'll give you one guess. Maybe it has something to do with that big tree <laughs> hanging over the racetrack. What do you know? What do you think? Malkasian is your leader, then it's the two six sideways cars, then you've got Skier back there in fourth position in front of Nathaniel Sparks. Now, oh, in trouble. Oh, in One the of the cars grass. has gone around into the grass. I think that's Charles Paquin, and that'll bring out just a local yellow. Yeah, these are the race workers that are in every corner, keeping it safe for the drivers, warning them when there's trouble. That yellow flag means no passing till you get by the incident. One of our Canadian competitors, Paquin gets back onto the racetrack. No harm, no foul there. Meantime, this five-car battle up front, this is an incredible fight. Let's take another look at what happened to Paquin, though, just a moment ago. The rubbing was ahead of him. And Charles must have just got wide there. This wet grass in the morning here in Virginia is just going to send you. All you need is two wheels and you're gone. You can lock the brakes. It's like being on ice. <laughs> yeah, it is. When there's no traction, even ABS can't stop it. <laughs> on the outside, here's Malkasian again in the yellow Alara entry, trying to retake the lead, heading down the main straightaway. Rick, I'd like to be in this race. Yeah. Man, it's the strategies, the drafting, the passing. And these guys are doing it right. So far, so good. Let's not speak too soon. But they're running side by side through these corners without significant contact. Well, it reminds me of what you used to hear about racing in NASCAR at Daytona as we have another car off at the head of the backstretch. Back one again. Still having trouble keeping that Mazda pointed straight. On board with Nathaniel Sparks in the three car, your replay XD on board. Look, Randy, you were talking about strategy. Uh, how do you position yourself so that you can make the last pass and win on the last lap? Well, if it's me, I find a buddy. I find somebody to run with because two cars are faster than one. And I minimize my passing. The whole object trying to make it a two car race, not an eight car race. Look at this. So in terms of racecraft, find a car that you're working well with get to the front, the two of you, and then settle it amongst yourselves. Right, when you're not passing, you go faster. Look at this little bit of a lead here. That's Shimshack out in the lead ahead of Malkassian. That might disappear out on the back straightaway due to the draft. Elliott Skier bulls his way back into second. Dean bulls his way back into third. That shovels Malkasian back to fourth. And here comes Nathaniel Sparks in the gray car, the three car. He's trying to get back by error. Now, all these drivers, these top four, have all led laps here today. Boy, the replay I'll tell you, the onboard look back at error. You saw our buddy John Dean stick yeah. it inside and into Oak Tree. Nobody passes there. <laughs> these, these MX-5s are a great tool for racing. Malkasian down to the inside of John Dean, able to bust out of the draft and pick up a spot. Dean's going to hold him off. Oh. He's going to try. Late breaking and hold him off. That was a good move. John Dean back to third now. His teammate Shimshak is back to the lead. Skier is second. Behind Dean, you've got Malkasian back there. Nathaniel Sparks and others. Ken Morello, a team manager and crew chief for our Malkasian, watching from the pit box. We'll be back at VIR.
you say you're a fan of close competitive racing, well, how about this? Each fall at Mid-Ohio, hundreds of local club racers from around the country gather for the National Autosport Association's Championship Weekend. The Mazda racers on hand also enjoy a meal that's put on by Mazda in honor of those who battle hard all year at the grassroots level of racing. Anytime I watch a race on the weekend, I mean, ALMS, Grand Am, World Challenge, MX-5 Cup, we're there. That's because of you guys. Club racing is, is the basis of uh, what we do, and it's part of our business plan. It's the main part of our business plan. The Spec Miata challengers on hand hope to win the championship at the end of the NASA weekend. It includes a trip to the Mazda shootout and a chance to win a fully funded ride in the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup. Mazda's involvement, especially with Spec Miata racing, is, is bar none the best in uh, amateur racing around. Their contingency, uh, they pay out money for wins in both SCCA and NASA. They have a ladder program. I mean, what amateur racer does not want to be able to break into the pro ranks without having to pay uh, for that ride? So uh, you get to drive in the pros and you get Mazda support 100% behind it. There isn't a better program out there. It is the best. Sponsorship is tough. Um, to have the support of somebody like Mazda behind you to say, hey, you know, you go out, you prove yourself, you do well in, in a car that doesn't cost a lot of money to run or, or to build um, in a super, super competitive field. And if you can come out on top, then we'll support you. And that's, that's just awesome. Gotta like it, gotta like it. I won a championship in a Mazda Miata back in 1992, and it was an important stepping stone in my professional career. How many drivers have come through these ranks, the Spec Miata ranks, and then into the pro ranks, and, and, and make it a name for themselves? And of course, our champion this season will have the opportunity to move up to World Challenge, where you race, or perhaps to Grand Am. We'll see how it all plays out. 12 laps are on the board here at Virginia International Raceway. Christian Shimshak and John Dean won two for now, but again, you've got that seven-car freight train. You know, having these teammates up front could spell trouble for the rest of the field. Let's see if John Dean and Shimshak can hook up and get away. Well, you pointed out the strategy to employ here a little while ago, and you said, hey, I'm going to look for a buddy if I'm in this race. Two cars faster than one, we can pull away and then settle it between ourselves. So far, we haven't seen much of that. And we're watching John Dean pull a little gap on Malkassian. If he can get up there in the draft of Shimshak, maybe they can do it. This is actually a drafting area right here up into the climbing S's because it's so fast. On that draft, the two six sideways mates are out in front. Stephen McAleer, meantime, the points leader, struggling just a bit at VIR, right, Derek? Guys, I was just down in the 28 pit of Stephen McAleer talking to Jason Sani, who is one of the team managers for CJ Wilson Racing. He said the car is not handling to Stephen's liking right now. It's a little bit loose, and he's sliding it through the corners. Loose is fast, Cole, but too loose is slow. And that's what McAleer is dealing with right now. I was wondering why he dropped back so far after a really strong first lap and a great start. On board, the replay XD on board view from McAleer's seat. Looking up ahead to the cars he's chasing here. He's lost the draft, it would appear. I love this view because it's just what we see in the race car when we're racing. You're back there just trying to get a sniff of that draft. And when they're three wide, they're really punching a hole for you. It's helping McAleer. Jim Shack and Dean, the two white six sideways cars up front. This is the three-way battle for third. You're watching off the nose of McAleer's. Oh, one car Sparks off. Sparks through the Sparks grass. way wide. He has to slow way down to gather that Loses thing back up. Losing another position. Wow. No, he's got it back. That's Harry. But the good thing is <laughs> you're going off of the left, and the track comes right back to you. Sparks now in the clutches of Sebastian Landy in the black 49, who's caught the lead group. Meantime, Shimshak and Dean starting to gap the field. Here. This is what I thought might happen. Let's see if they can make it work. We can identify Shimshak's car because he's got the extra wheel rub from early yeah. in the race. <laughs> All that black bodywork on the left rear. Shimshak is out front in the 34. Malkasian up to third now behind Dean. Fourth is Skier. Fifth is McAleer. Uh, Elliott Skier on power. Oh, and a couple of cars put wheels oh, off yeah, here early somebody, in the day at Virginia International Raceway. Somebody raising some dust on the outside <laughs> of turn one. Let's see if Shimshak and Dean can continue to get away. That may be damage on Shimshak's car left over from that crash in qualifying. On board with John Dean, your replay XD on board view through the windshield here as Dean grabs the gear, trying to track down his teammate. Now, Shimshak is in a situation here where he's got an opportunity, as does Dean, to gain ground in the championship. If McAleer ends up fifth or sixth today, one of the six sideways boys could make some hay. Yeah, it would be great to see. It would be great to see John Dean is taking a shot at this championship, and he has got some 
great pro aspirations. What a tremendous step it would be for him to be able to go to the Mazda shootout. They might make him get a haircut. <laughs> I'm not sure how strict they are. He does have that kind of, uh, he kind of looks like a cowboy from the wild, wild west with those mutton chops, chops. and the longish hair. I could see him with the, uh, you know, with the cowboy hat and the six gun, that kind of Yeah, maybe think? a blues guitarist. Well, maybe. That could, be, that could work too. Six sideways still holding the lead with the guys we know and love. Nathaniel Sparks, look at him, he's back there. Sixth place, has lost the lead draft. Somehow it's turned around for Nathaniel at this point in the race. Well, now you've got two by two by two because you've got Malkasian in third and he's got McAleer actually skier back there and then McAleer in fifth with Sparks. So maybe one of those other pairings can hook up and make some hay get close to the leaders. Well, you can see John Dean and Christian Sim Shimshak trying to do just what I was talking about. But Malkasian is running so strong, they haven't quite been able to make it perfect. They got a little bitty gap. I think that's enough to break the draft. As we watch the leaders funnel out of the front straightaway here, well past halfway now at Virginia International Raceway. After today's event, just three races left to settle this championship. We'll be out in Coronado at the Naval Air Station one week from this event, and then we'll wrap things up at Road Atlanta. Petit Le Mans week with a double header's worth of action to settle the championship. Still Shimshack out in front. Yeah, but look at Malkassian. I saw him get a heck of a run out of hog pen corner. It's so important, and it brought him back into this race for the lead. Top two are the two six sideways mates, Shimshack and Dean out of Sebring, Florida. Malkasian now in that Alara entry, his team starting to reel in the top two. Fourth spot belongs to the car of Elliott Skier, the Mazda Speed Driver Development Scholarship winner from the shootout a year ago. Shimshack continuing to lead. David Knight in the 97 is out in front of the Skip Barber Mazda Speed Pro Challenge class in the 97 car. He's got a big advantage there as well. All right, let's take a quick break here at Virginia International Raceway. Back with much more on the Mazda Motorsports Hour. Welcome back, Virginia International Raceway for the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup. I'm Rick Benjamin, Randy Pope still alongside Derek Bertosiglio has our coverage on pit road today, side by side for second, and one car goes around Emily Tominovich in the true car entry. Well, the C.J. Wilson car's in some trouble. She gets it pointed in the right direction. She'll be able to return toward the back of the field. We had a great side-by-side -side fight going on there for second, and look at this. Our Malkasian has gotten in front of John Dean. He has. He's split up those leaders. It's still a five-car race, but Christian Shimshak is probably liking his chances right now. One more look at what happened to Emily Tominovich as she was making the right-hander. Oh, you come out of four and you kick it right back to the right in five, and Emily got a little oversteer, just came around too much for it. She will rejoin at the back of the field. Meantime, we take a look at this fight for second. Elliot Skier in the C.J. Wilson car trying to work his way around John Dean now as they head to the right-hander. You might have just said it there, Rick Benjamin. It looks like a fight for second, and I'm sure Christian Shimshak is hoping it remains a fight. Let's watch John Dean down that straightaway. See if he can draft off of Mount Cassian. He's getting a toe. We're slowly building speed. We're in fourth gear. He's going up to fifth gear. The MX-5s have got close ratios, so you're shifting a lot, and he's getting a toe. He's catching him. You got a sense of how close these two are with that replay XD on board look. And here comes Dean swinging to the inside on Malkasian for second spot. Skier will follow him, but he can't get there. Malkasian able to close the door. Malkasian good at the end of the straightaway, but John Dean is not going to push Malkasian up to Shimshack. I just don't think he's going to do that. All of this certainly helping the 34 car, the six sideways entry for Christian Shimshack pull away. And that's a, a variation of what you were talking about, I think, before, Randy, when you go two by two. In this case, that bat. Oh, and one car way off, Elliot Skier. Almost oh, hits the oh, Armco. Oh. He's able to gather up the 17 car. <laughs> and that's another example of being out on that wet grass. There's not much you can do. Tell you what, he handled it well. He didn't go around. He was just smooth. And I guarantee you, he was saying, don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. <laughs> and here he comes back on track in good shape. But he's out of the race for the lead now. Gives up an opportunity to perhaps crack a podium finish here at VIR. So Elliot Skier with a late error but avoids wrinkling up the sheet metal on that Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup machine. Our running order with 18 laps on the board. Shimshack is out in front. Malkasian in the 11 there, second. Dean in the white 16 car runs third. And now you take Skier out of the mix. Fourth spot at the moment belongs to Stephen McAleer. Sparks in fifth as the laps wind down. To Elliot's credit, we don't know yet if he had any help or what happened there, but uh, boy, he got way off. Well, you get a little off, and you go way off in this wet I was going to say, you can get behind on your steering over there. There's not much you can do about it. No. 
But now Cassian here, he's holding on to second place. He's actually, I think, holding up John Dean a little really? bit. Really? Yeah. And Shimshak is, he's extending his lead. Driving away from the field at this point in time. We'll see if Dean can break away and get around Malkasian for second spot. I'll tell you what, as you mentioned, Randy Pope's era, really good at the end of this backstretch. Car very quick there. He's good in the break zone at the end of that backstretch, and he's good at the next important corner coming out of hog pen. It makes him difficult to pass into turn one. Two cars battling for second spot, heading to the end of the backstretch. You got to look at David Hickson, the Skip Barber Mazda Speed Pro Challenge race leader just a moment ago. Dean unable to do anything with Malkasian this time around. Yeah, he did a good job, though, getting himself out in the mirrors. You want to make the driver you're chasing think you're going to pass him in the hopes that they'll make a mistake. Dean's using all the roads, so is yeah. Malkasian. These MX-5s, you'll see him pop that dust. White flag being shown to Christian Shimshak in the 34 car. His Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup machine has been a flawless performer here today. Got to look at some of these Skip Barber competitors, all three of them. As a matter of fact, little trouble for the 63 car. Yeah, the leader. Looks as though Brian Hickson uh, may have a problem, and Emily Taminovich has had more difficulty in the true car 19 as she heads down the front stretch. Let's take a look at what happened here. I think we saw a similar spin. Whoa, to, whoa that's that a tank was, slapper. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's hard to go around there. Not well. Wow. Okay, he touched the tires. Brian wow. Hickson from San Antonio, Texas, gives up the top spot in the Skip Barber Mazda Speed Pro Challenge ranks. Emily Timidovich had problems coming off the last turn. Final time around this three and a quarter mile layout here in Alton, Virginia. The battle is for second. Dean needs to get by the 11 quickly. Yeah, Shimshak's up there just trying to not to make a mistake. He's got a nice lead. That's a great position to be in, but they are ready to get him if anything goes wrong. Now, Cassian, Dean's all over him. That's why I say he might be holding him up. <laughs> Dean's using the road and everything, trying to get by for that second position to make it a six sideways one, two. Now Not going to be easy. Remember the points table. McAleer started the day on top of the points with Malkasian and Dean fighting to try to get close and make this a points battle with three races to go. Right now it's Shimshak all alone out front. And Dean in the draft. He's pulling out. He's going to try him down the inside. Just doesn't have the beans to pull it off down into the end of the straightaway. Comes back at him. Oh, oh misses the corner. <laughs> John cow. Dean nearly wrecks the field. Dean slides across oh. and whacks the soft wall on the inside. John Dean's bid for second will come to an end. Meantime, we take a look at Christian Shimshak closing in on lap traffic. Well, coming to the checkered flag. I give John credit. He sure does go for wow. it. But, man, that was too much. Wrecked the car. Malkassian sitting in second place as they take the checker. The win to Christian Shimshak. He's had five top fives this season. That is his first win of the year. John Dean, his teammate, takes the 16 back up onto the racetrack. He's got his mind on the points table. Well, he on the track and off. One more look at what happened as he was trying to bonsai by Malkashian. Very brave move, definitely in the John Dean style, but just didn't have the grip to pull it off. Fortunately, VIR has a nice soft tire wall. That damage is not nearly as bad as it looks to the front of the MX-5. He could have gotten into the Armco, though. He just barely hit the tires. That, he was close to missing them. That was a lucky break, Rick. Christian Shimshak, our Replay XD onboard view, showing you Shimshak at work now with the checkered flag in hand. Here's that battle again. We saw the error by Hickson earlier. We'll see if the 97 can grab the win in the Skip Barber Mazda Speed Pro Challenge. That's David Knight's entry. As they come down the front straightaway, Hickson trying him once again. Boy, they're neck and neck, and Knight gets the win. David Knight from Ludlow, Vermont, and the Jacuzzi Pharmanex machine is your winner at the Skip Barber Mazda Speed Pro Challenge at VIR. Well, guys, first-time winners are always fun in the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup, and today Christian Shimshak puts it all together to pick up his first ever Pro Series win. Yeah, it's, it's uh, fantastic. I don't think it's even set in yet. I can't believe that I won. You know, I... Uh, I wasn't too optimistic going in because of uh, the accident I had yesterday. My ribs hurt a little bit, but the pain was definitely manageable, so I did a lot better than I thought, so I'm really happy. Quite a contrast from yesterday, getting the red flag, hitting the wall, getting off track. The crew worked diligently to get the car done, and you've got a tough little Mazda here, don't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I can't believe that it withstood the hit that it did. I hit the tires pretty hard, and uh, like I said, it hurt quite a bit, so uh, we were surprised to see that it was straightened out. Uh, nothing was really bent, it was just cosmetic, so extremely tough little car, very fortunate, great crew. Uh, you know, we got Johnny, our team manager here, and we got our uh, crew chief, Andrew Crucker, and of course, uh, team owner, John Dean. 
you know, I'll do a fantastic job with the cars, and they're all very knowledgeable, smart people. So I'm lucky to be part of this team. Guys, Christian Shimshak's a first-time winner here at VIR. Man, it's great to see him win. It is, absolutely. Shimshak, your winner. Aramal Cajun second, then McAleer Sparks and Sebastian Landy. John Dean has to settle for seventh spot. Landy had a great race for a new face in the series. Sure did. Tim Probert, Elliott Skier with that late off, ends up 12th. Not good for his championship hopes. Boris Landy in 15th. Dean Copeland uh, had problems on the start. And then your three Mazda Speed Pro Challenge competitors led by David Knight. Let's talk to our runner-up. Ara Malkassian comes home in second. Quite a battle with you and John Dean out there. What is it like racing with that much intensity on the track? It's the best. These Mazda MX-5s are the most fun cars you can ever imagine racing. And the intensity of the game, I mean, I dare anybody to come here and beat us in this game. We're some of the best drivers out here. You can see just how intense the battles are and how much fun it is. Uh, it was good, clean racing all the way through for the front pack. It was really, really nice, uh, really enjoyable Sunday, uh, Saturday morning. Real intense moment out there on the track with John getting off the track and sliding in front of you with that last ditch effort to make the pass. Can you tell us what you saw from your seat? Man, I, I had a, he had a nose, he poked his nose on the left and uh, I braked and I went to the right and I just saw him fly down the right side. I have no idea where he came from. I'm just glad that, you know, he was able to, to not hit me because I've been hit in that same spot twice before and, and uh, it's nice, nice to not have that happen this time. Second place, guys. It's a good points day for Ara Malkassian. That's a darn shame because it's going to really hurt John's points. Let's take a look from the onboard, the Replay XD onboard look here. Here's where he got it in the grass. And how about this? He slides across in front of Era. That could have taken them both out. Oh. And there's the impact into the inside barrier. Dean is with Derek. Well, you can see the extensive damage to the front end of the number 16 of John Dean's car. Quite a battle, though, between you and Aral Malkassian. Can you tell us what happened on that last lap? Yeah, we had a great race. You know, there was a lot of dicing. I started sixth and was able to just kind of pick my way off uh, up through the field. Um, and there on the last lap, uh, I got a little bit of a draft, kind of moved over to the left just to see if I could, uh, if I could squeeze in there. And I, I didn't have enough run, run, so I moved back to the right. And when I went to the brakes, it was just extremely hard pedal, and I, I just couldn't get the car slowed down. And uh, it was all I could do just to not run into him, you know. Um, it's really unfortunate. I think, uh, I think the championship is going to be, uh, you know, is decided now after, after that. Um, it was a good race. We're, we're disappointed as a team. I'm disappointed as a driver. Um, but uh, now I'm not really thinking about it as a championship win. I just want to take one race at a time. Um, and just I, I, I like to be up on the podium. So uh, that's, where, that's where I'll try to be for the next three. One race at a time, guys. That's what John Dean's plan is for the rest of the year. Well, hey, John, that hurts you. you got to be a little more careful to go for a championship, but there's still a long way to go. There's three races. He's only 33 points back. You can score 30 in each, but McAleer looking pretty solid with a 25-point advantage. Well, you know, McAleer's had his mistakes and, and his penalties like everybody else. It's amazing the drama of the whole season, the way it goes up and down and back and forth in the MX-5 Cup. Plenty of drama today at Virginia International Raceway. We congratulate our first-time winner, Christian Shimshack. Randy Popes and Derek Bertasiglio. I'm Rick Benjamin. Hope to see you again on the Mazda Motorsports Hour.